first laptop unboxing in india with intel core ultra cpus today's video is going to be absolutely later because we have something exciting over here if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago in few of my videos i told you people in case if you're planning to buy like a brand new laptop right don't be in a hurry wait for a few weeks something exciting will be hitting the market very soon and they're finally here guys new gen laptops powered by intel's all new core ultra cpus and these are also ai ready laptops guys now you people might be like hey vimal what are these core ultra cpus never heard of them let me tell you intel is completely changing their game name in 2024 guys so the higher end mobile cpus right they won't be called as i3 i5 or i7 anymore in 2024 they will be calling it as core ultra cpus you will be finding all core ultra 5 core ultra 7 core ultra 9 laptops from here and now and let me tell you core ultra cpus are the very first intel cpus that are based on intel 4 process plus they also feature some Something known as integrated NPU guys alongside CPU and GPU. NPU stands for like a neural processing unit and is basically responsible for taking care of all your AI related applications. So up until now now on the older models 12th gen or 13th gen laptops if you do any sort of AI related applications basically your CPU and GPU only take care of all the processing. But now on these new core ultra CPUs NPU will take care of all your AI related works leaving a lot of headroom for the CPU and GPU thus being much more efficient and also powerful at the same time guys i am like very excited to unbox and show you the performance of these new intel cpus in this video and by the way we have the new acer swift to go model powered by intel's core ultra cpus and it's available in like two three variants i would say powered by intel core ultra 5 core ultra 7 today we have the core ultra 5 variant of the laptop and i'm telling you right acer swift to go new model packs like killer features for the price point and you people will get to check out all of that in this video on that note make sure to like subscribe and click the notifications bell icon guys this is some exclusive content happening in india all right then let's quickly get started with the video to be honest guys there is nothing much to unbox over here anyways i'm gonna give you like a quick tour of the box on the front you have the acer branding say swift series and the model is called as swift to go 14 features a 14 inches touch display on board and talking about the configuration i've told you right it's available in like couple of different variants we have the core ultra 5 variant of the laptop plus you're also getting intel arc graphics this is also like a huge upgrade Coming from their iris xc graphics we'll check out all of that in this video on board you're getting like 16 gb dual channel lpddr 5x ram and also pair that with like 512 gb pci nvme gen 4 ssd so that is basically the complete specs and configuration of the model we'll be checking out in this video now let's quickly get started with the unboxing as soon as you open it there you go our brand new acer swift to go 14 came nicely packed in this cotton bag keeping that aside in the package you also get some paperwork and documents make sure to read that plus you're also getting like a bundled adapter as well this is a type c 100 watt pd fast charger and a main cord for the adapter well that's it our quick unboxing part now let me give you like a closer look at the laptop and first of all talk about the design and build quality initial impressions it actually looks kind of modern and clean right i mean look at the whole top panel over here nothing very clean design sleek profile i would say you just have the mirror finished acer logo at the top side and that's it good thing is it doesn't seem to attract a lot of fingerprints as well and especially if you're like an office goer or maybe like you're a, a software employee programmer or coder right you will definitely love this simplistic and modern look design if you ask about the dimensions definitely a compact and portable laptop thickness is only around like 14.9 mm and it's not that heavy also guys hardly weighs around like 1.32 kgs so you can easily carry it in your backpack and take it anywhere basically the name itself is go right swift to go very easy portable and travel friendly is what i can say and built quality of the laptop is also very good entire body is like complete all metal design guys aluminum chassis is what i can say and definitely feels solid and durable for the price that you're paying so what what I'll do is I'll give you like a closer look and show you all the available connectivity ports that you're getting on this model. Starting off from the left side, you're getting two type C ports that even support Thunderbolt 4.0 as well. One HDMI 2.1 full size port is there and a USB 3.2 super speed type A port is available. Over here on the bottom side, there's a small grill that is basically your left channel speaker. You're getting like stereo speakers, one on the left and the other one on the right. Going to the right profile, here you have a couple of status LED indicators, one for your charging and the other one is your power LED indicator. 
you do have a micro sd card reader as well included a 3.5 mm audio jack is there plus one more usb 3.2 super speed type a port is available and lastly your kensington lock having a look at the back profile here you can check out lots of cutouts and vents basically for air circulation guys to keep your laptop running cool and here's how the bottom profile of the laptop looks like very clean and good looking design right you do have a couple of vents and cutouts as I, again as i've told you guys basically your air intakes to keep the laptop running cool and one thing i do have to mention is the hinge design on the swift to go guys so whenever you open up the top lid of the laptop right the laptop hinge actually creates like a small gap on the bottom profile this helps your laptop's thermal situation and keeps it running cool even on longer sessions of usage and wait a second i forgot to talk about the upgradability part right so basically the bottom panel is very easily openable but i do have to mention that i am on board is soldered and cannot be upgraded so make sure you choose the right variant while buying only but storage on board is upgradable you're getting two nvme pci slots over here one of them is already occupied and our variant features like 512 gb of pci gen 4 ssd and in the other slot you can add up to like 1 tb ssd totally you can expand up to like 2 tb of max storage so that's it our complete overview on the exteriors part now let me quickly open up the laptop and show you how the interiors look as well and tada this is how the new acer swift go 14 looks like beautiful looking design right look at this dual tone color scheme silver with black accents definitely looks nice and main highlight is that display guys i mean you're getting a 16 by 10 aspect ratio 14 inches display in such a compact form factor definitely looks beautiful and look at the bezels as well very narrow bezels on the left and right and at the top and bottom as well again all thanks to that extended 16 by 10 aspect ratio not to miss out this is actually an ips touch panel and supports multi-touch input also on the bottom side you're getting a chrome finished acer logo and at the top you're actually getting a 1440p quad hd webcam anyways that was about the complete upper half section and going to the lower half section this is how it looks like swift go 14 features a white led backlit chiclet keyboard and quality of the keyboard is nice i've been using this laptop for the last couple of days and had like a really comfortable experience i would say quality of the keys key caps is also good offered a tactile and clicky experience and not to miss out as i've told you you're getting white led backlighting and yes the backlighting brightness is also adjustable in two steps using this function key and coming to the touchpad touchpad is actually special over here swift to go 14 features something known as ocean glass touchpad so basically it's like an eco-friendly material touchpad made entirely of like recycled plastic waste found in ocean really appreciate that acer and let me tell you you would not notice any sort of difference between this and your regular touchpad really good quality material i would say you're getting glass like finish at the top side only and easily recognizes all my inputs and gestures and look at the size as well almost up to 44 percent larger size touchpad guys and if you talk about the integrated buttons quality the integrated buttons is also nice offered a tactile and clicky feedback moving on now let me tell you about the display quality acer swift to go 14 features a 14 inches 16 by 10 aspect ratio ips multi-touch display so especially if you're like a programmer coder or maybe like a software employee you read a lot of blogs and posts right this sort of extended view can definitely help you because you can read a lot more uh, information at a glance without doing a lot of scrolling over here and talking about the display quality display quality is actually pretty good for the price that you're paying now obviously you're getting like 1080p resolution at 14 inches and native resolution is 1920 by 1200 because of that extended 16 by 10 aspect ratio excellent amount of detail no matter what sort of content you're watching text looks crisp and clear and everything is easily readable and coming to the colors colors are also nice and accurate again all thanks to that ips panel guys the panel on board supports up to like 100 percent srgb color gamut range so yes not just your regular sort of applications or media consumption you can use this laptop even for creative sort of applications maybe like photoshop or maybe like video editing right aram se you can use the display if you talk about the contrast levels contrast levels are fine even the black levels are also decent and overall viewing angles are also good all thanks to that ips panel you're getting like a wide 178 degree viewing angle coming to the brightness brightness of the display is also good i had no issues checking on the display indoor and outdoor situation so satisfactory display experience i would say and best of all this is actually a multi-touch panel you're getting on board and overall touch experience was nice i didn't face any sort of issues or lags anywhere guys overall now very satisfactory display for the price that you paid now let me tell you about the speakers as well on board you're getting stereo speakers powered by dts audio and to be honest guys out of the box experience was not that great i mean audio quality was fine but vocals felt a bit muffled and output was also a bit less but we actually have a solution to fix this issue drivers on board are good but are not properly eq tuned out of the box 
all you need to do is open DTS audio processing app and by default it might actually be turned off. Simply enable it, click on this custom audio section and do exactly how I am doing in this video. Enable all these enhancements and that's it. Just by doing this simple trick right, you'll see a major improvement in the audio quality of this laptop. I mean just listen to this clip, you'll get an idea on the audio quality happening guys happy sunday it's been quite some time right so if you people have been following me on my social media you might know that i was actually traveling in dubai for the last few days for asus tech event on sustainability okay i know you people have been waiting for this part how is the performance of this laptop as i've told you swift go 14 is powered by intel's all new core ultra 5 125h processor which is basically a 14 core 18 thread cpu with a turbo clock of up to 4.5 gigahertz so unlike the older gen cpus where you use to get like two clusters of CPUs, P cores and E cores, here you're actually getting one more set of low power E cores. So totally that gives you around like four P cores, eight E cores and two more extra LP E cores that automatically assign respective tasks and get your job done more efficiently. Plus not to miss out that all new NPU neural processing unit called as Intel AI Boost, specifically designed to handle all your AI workloads and applications. I have been using this laptop for the past few days and and laptop was performing very well guys swift snappy and quite responsive it's also intel evo certified i was running the laptop with variety of applications like having a bunch of edge tabs open in the background browsing the web running 1080p videos on youtube and simultaneously doing a bit of photoshop nothing seemed to slow it down muska performance is what i can say what photoshop you can even do like basic 4k video editing also on this machine so creators will definitely have a good time using it and major thing you people are forgetting is swift to go 14 comes with Intel Arc graphics featuring 7xc cores and the brand says it's also capable of doing ray tracing as well. What? I quickly installed GTA 5 to test it out, set the resolution to 1080p which is native display resolution and graphics were a mix between normal and high settings and on an average we were getting around 75 fps frame rate smooth and lag free gaming experience that is definitely a major upgrade coming from intel iris xc on the previous models guys i mean who would have thought you could play gta 5 AAA title game on this laptop that to a notebook without any dedicated gpu this good i mean come on it's just an integrated gpu right Guess I'll need to do like a dedicated gaming performance test on the new Intel Core Ultra CPUs. Let me know if you people are interested in that in the comment section down below. Thermals are also decent considering it's a compact notebook. So good job Acer. But I do have to mention fans were a bit noisy especially in the performance profile mode and that too when you were playing games. Alright I've been saying from the beginning that it's an AI ready laptop right. So what exactly can the new Swift Go 14 do? For starters a lot. The onboard NPU Intel AI Boost enables some brand new user experiences using Windows Studio FX and also offers some exclusive features across creator apps. You can access all these AI related features directly from AI Zone section in Acer Sense app which you can directly open using the shortcut on the keyboard. Simply head over to this section and you'll find plenty of features like Acer Live Art, Alter View is also there, GIMP Stable Diffusion is also there and much more. Acer Live Art is an on the go photo editing tool. Using AI you can remove background in an image or maybe like copy paste the subjects or even create stickers on the go guys and coming to alter view this is mainly used to create like some 3d dynamic live wallpapers from your regular 2d pictures and images and not only that you're also getting asus purified view and purified voice features which is great for business and office works wherever you use a lot of meetings and conference calls right by simply enabling it purified view offers some smart video effects like auto framing intelligent eye contact and also background blur all using Intel's AI Boost NPU without slowing down the actual main CPU usage. And similarly purified voice also offers AI based noise reduction to deliver better voice clarity at the other end especially whenever you're doing like online meetings with your clients. I'm telling you right AI applications are endless. You're also getting Windows Copilot integrated in the laptop and if you're looking for like generative AI applications well Acer has included one step download process for GIMP where you can use Intel Stable Diffusion to produce 
those AI image results on the go. And last but not the least, let me also add a point on networking and connectivity. It's got next gen Intel killer Wi-Fi 6C module on board that offers nearly three times faster performance and up to 75% lower latency compared to the previous gen laptops. Definitely a big upgrade coming from regular 80 megahertz channel. Plus you're also getting access to Intel killer intelligence center from where you can easily optimize your network settings, assign priorities and greatly improve your Wi-Fi experience. On the Bluetooth side, you're getting Bluetooth version 5.2 with LE audio support that greatly improves your audio quality at a lower bit rate and also extending your overall battery life at the same time. You're also getting Bluetooth Aura Cast as well that enables you to broadcast audio to unlimited number of nearby receivers which can either be speakers, TWS headphones and much more. There's also one more last feature that I found quite interesting which is Intel Unison. It's basically like an all-in-one hub and solution that wirelessly connects your laptop with either your phone or a tablet and offers like a unified OS experience. You can use this feature for file transfer between the connected devices, extend your laptop screen to your phone or a tablet, manage all your calls, messages, notifications, everything from one place which is on your laptop and basically avoid the constant hassle of switching between devices. Well that is pretty much it, our video on Acer's all new Swift Go 14 featuring Intel's all new Core Ultra CPUs. I hope you people enjoyed watching the video and got to learn a lot about AI related applications, Intel's NPU and stuff like that. If you people have any sort of questions do let me know in the comment section. It's a really good laptop guys especially for students who are learning programming and coding or maybe you go to office and do AI related jobs right. For that also Core Ultra CPUs can be really useful. And coming to the pricing details as I've told you guys these are the very first wave of AI ready laptops in the Indian market and Acer Swift Go 14 Core Ultra 5 variant I guess costs around like 84 or 85,000 rupees. I'll leave link to that in the description box below you can check it out there. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and I'll see you all in my next one.